Today I received a package from the fine folks over at Hacksmith Industries, builders of all of the wonderful Make It Reels, the real first ever lightsaber, and of course, the BattleBot Orbitron. Hacksmith Industries have produced a model kit of their BattleBot Orbitron and it is that kit I shall be building and reviewing today. The kit came with lots of bags and a 3D printed chassis, inside said bags with some bearings, some magnets, some screws of different sizes, lots and lots of screws, as well as these two metal discs. Yes, these discs are metal, fully metal, solid pieces been cut by their machines. They also sent some plastic parts, including these tires, these black blocks, this other black block with a hole in it, these sections that look like motors, two identical parts that are unmistakable as motors as well. We also have this external assembly piece. We have these little sort of brake disc kind of pieces, four long blue forks, as well as this self-writing arm, an absolute plethora of washers and nut pieces, I guess, as well as these two awesome honeycomb style side panels. On purchasing the kit, I received these digital instructions as well as STL files for all of the parts as well. A really awesome service that they have provided. Anyway, enough unboxing, let's get on with the time lapse. And here we have the finished Orbitron model. It was a really fun build, actually. I put my own challenge in place of trying to do it all on camera, but yeah, this is a really cool set. Lots of articulating parts, including the spinners, the forks, and of course the self-writer. One of my spinners spins better than the other. A little bit of adjustment will help with that, though, I'm sure. This is a really well-designed little kit. Even the wheels move on it, even though they just touch the top panel just a little bit, but that's fine. I'm utterly fine with that because ultimately they didn't have to bother with moving wheels but they have even the top panel is removable a magnet will allow that to happen and it's a nice press fit as well so it's not going to just come off loosely but you can see all the internal details that they've provided it's a really nice kit and i get a nice sense of joy knowing that i'm doing my own mini make it real the set comes with the exact number of parts you need to build it the instructions are really really clear as well I think the toughest part for me was actually fitting the bearings into the spinner modules. You really do have to be quite forceful with them pushing down on top of the plastic part to make sure that they fit exactly in, otherwise these spinners don't spin round quite as well as I have found out with the gold spinner on mine. A little bit more persuading I think is necessary. But overall this is a fantastic kit. And again I felt like one of the Hacksmith crew myself. Doing a quick size comparison with a couple of models of other battle bots, there's Lockjaw and Blip, some that I've designed myself, and these are kind of in the right scale for the old Robot Wars pullbacks and of course the Hexbug battle bots. This is a lot bigger, but of course this isn't a toy really. Though it's 3D printed, it has metal pieces, it requires you to screw stuff together yourself. This is for model enthusiasts and people who love the bot, and I love it for that. 
This is a very cool set. Thank you to the Hacksmith team for producing it and thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, do subscribe and I shall see you again in the future.